My name is Maru Farasola. I'm a PhD student at Cornell University, and my advisor is Ina Sakharevich. I'm mainly interested in applying categorical methods to algebraic key theory and homotopy theory, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about some of my projects in this direction. My first project is on K theory and contortion pairs. And the problem that I want to address is say we have an inclusion of categories A inside of B, and we want to construct another category C that acts as the cofiber in the sense that when we consider their K theory spaces, we get a homotopy fiber sequence. So the reason we might be interested in doing this is that a fiber sequence of K theory spaces will give us a long exact sequence of K theory groups. And so if we manage to get a fiber sequence like this, then we will get information about how the K-theory groups of the original categories A and B are related. Now, this problem has been studied before, and Quillen showed that if both A and B are abelian and A is a Serre subcategory, then one can construct a quotient category, which is also abelian, and fits into the spot of the cofiber. And similarly, everything works if we replace the word abelian by exact and add a few technical conditions. So what is the problem with these solutions? Well, what happens is that in practice, the Serre condition on the subcategory A turns out to be quite restrictive. So the alternative that I propose is based on the idea that the cofiber that we're looking for doesn't really need to be an abelian or an exact category. It can be a Wallhausen category instead. And the main tool that I use to construct this Wallhausen category is that of cotorsion pairs which is an algebraic tool mainly used in relative homological algebra. So my main result is that when A and B are exact and B is part of a contortion pair, then we can construct a Wallhausen structure on B, meaning we can define a class of weak equivalences in B, having A as a class of acyclic objects in such that this Wallhausen category that we're constructing fills in the role of the cofiber. So now, since we don't require the Serre condition anymore, this produces new applications. For example, if we take R to be a quasi frobenius or an Artin-Gorenstein ring, then we can choose suitable categories A and B in a way that the fiber sequence we obtain through the theorem will measure the difference between K of R and G of R. My next pro project is on the stable homotopy hypothesis, and this is joint work with Lynn Moser, Victoria Zornova, Simona Pauli, and Paula Verdugo. Now, the stable homotopy hypothesis is a version of the homotopy hypothesis where spaces are replaced with spectra. So the homotopy hypothesis tells us that n groupoids are the same as n types, and then the stable version of that tells us that Picard n categories are the same as stable n types. So some instances of this statement were present in the literature already for the cases n equals one, uh, 0, 1, and 2. And our contribution is to provide a proof of the stable homotopy hypothesis for all values of n. And the model that we use for Picard in categories to do this is that a very special gamma object in thomson money and groupoids, where the latter are multisimplicial sets that satisfy some Siegel conditions. The next of my project is about constructing model structures for double categories, and this is joint work with Lynn Moser and Paula Verdugo. So model structures provide us with a setting when we want to study objects that have a natural notion of sameness, which is weaker than that of isomorphism. A good example of this is two categories, because normally we consider two categories to be the same when they're bi-equivalent, because in practice, asking for them to be isomorphic turns out to be much too strict. In fact, lab proved that the bi-equivalences of two categories are the class of weak equivalences in some model, model structure on 2CAT, the category of two categories and two functors. So in our project, we want to consider a different type of two-dimensional structure called double categories. And these are closely related to two categories in the sense that there exists a fully faithful embedding of two categories into double categories. So this means that for all categorical purposes, we can think of 2CAT as living inside of double CAT. So with this embedding in mind and the model structure on 2CAT defined from the bi-equivalences, the question that we ask is, 
what is the notion of sameness between double categories such that there exists a model structure on double cap that gives us a homotopical version of this embedding. So it turns out that none of the existing uh, notions of sameness between double categories are able to fulfill this purpose. And so we propose a new notion, which we call double bi-equivalence. Our main result is to construct two model structures in double cat, both of which achieve our goal of having a fully faithful embedding of the homotopy category of two categories into the homotopy category of double categories. But in addition to that, also, each of them have different extra desired properties. And moreover, we get a Whitehead theorem ca characterizing our new class of equivalences. And this tells us that a functor is a double bi-equivalence if and only if there exists a, a pseudo functor G going the other way, which is an inverse of F up to horizontal pseudonatural equivalence. So you might notice this is a statement almost identical to the one we have for categories and their equivalences and for two categories and bi-equivalences between them. Finally, I'm also interested in using category theory in a more interdisciplinary manner to model things in other sciences. So in this direction, I have a project on the categorical modeling of open systems together with Brendan Fong. So open systems, which are sometimes called interconnected systems, include things, le things like electrical circuits and chemical reaction networks, like we can see in the picture. So we can use categories to model these, and the most common way to do this is to use hypergraph categories. Now, a hypergraph category will record all the syntax of the system, but the semantics of the system have to be interpreted externally through what are called black box functors. And the issue is that the hypergraph structure can be quite complicated. And so constructing these semantic interpretation functors, which is a crucial thing to do, can be highly non-trivial. So the goal is to find a good non-ad hoc method for constructing black box functors. Now, progress in this direction was made by Fong, who showed that if the hypergraph categories in question are given through a construction called decorated correlations, then there exists a simple recipe for constructing black box functors between them. But the issue is, what happens when the hypergraph categories that we care about are not decorated correlations? Well, Fong and I show that this is in fact never the case. So we define suitable categories that allow us to assemble the decorated correlations construction into a functor. And having this, we can prove that all hypergraph categories can be given as decorated correlations up to equivalence. So then up to equivalence, this gives a straightforward recipe for constructing black box functors between any two given hypergraph categories. Okay, that's all I wanted to say. Thank you for watching. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact me. Thank you.